Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today's video is going to be on who is going to see the coldest October temperatures 2017. Sorry if it's hard to see the title, but that is what it says. So let's look right away at the temperatures. Um, general, The general consensus is it's going to be warmer across our eastern half and the southern half, and it's going to be cooler across the northwest. And I agree with this mostly with NOAA, other than the fact that I think it's going to be cooler across, I think the blue should also be extended into North Dakota, South Dakota, rest of Montana, and Nebraska. But otherwise, this is pretty much on par, and I also think that the Northeast and Midwest won't be as warm along with the South. I think it won't be, I don't think it should be in this dark red. I think it will be in the lighter orange. But that's what I think based on my observations. And now we need to look at what the ENCO is, and outlook is and the ENCO is pretty much the pattern of the what's going to be during the northern hemisphere during the fall and winter and this is what it's going to be a La Nina and you could see October November December La Nina so what that means for us is that there's going to be a drier and warmer across the south and cooler and wetter across the um, north and especially across the north Northwest, there's going to be, um, it's going to be cold and wet, but they don't include the cold in this graph in the Northeast and Midwest because the main story for the Northeast and Midwest is that it's going to be wetter instead of colder. So it's also going to be cold. You could expect during the La Nina cold in the Northeast, Midwest, Northwest plains, pretty much across the North and wetter. So more snow and colder, but for fall, you could just expect cooler conditions. So we also uh, need to look at what the weather pattern is right now. I didn't include this in this slideshow, but what we do know is that the um, right now it is warmer, and for the next 20 days it is going to be warmer across the Midwest and the Northeast and South, but it's going to be cooler across the western half of the country or the northwestern half of the country because the cold fronts, I mean the warm fronts are going to lift up till about Iowa, Wisconsin, about where I'm drawing my arrow out right now. And then they're going to get slammed by cold front. So it's going to be a continuous slide of cooler and warmer temperatures, but the warmer is going to be warmer than average. So it's going to overall influence the, uh, influence the temperatures to be above average. And they're just not going to get that high and they're not going to get into the Northwest, into the Northwest. So it's just going to be a constant battle of warm versus cold across the Northeast, making it above average warm overall average and overall we need to look at I, I meant to say overall this is a um, weather outlook and you could see that it's pretty much similar to what Noah said except what I modified it a little bit because I think that it's going to be the coldest across these states and, and I did include North Dakota South Dakota Nebraska because they, there's those states are just they're already receiving cooler than average conditions and it's already October I think the light shaded col orange colors are going to have slightly above average. Then the southeast is going to have a little just above average, and we're going to have much above average across the Midwest and Northeast. And just because it's above average in the Northeast and Midwest does not mean that it's going to be cooler, warmer temperatures in the south. There could be the, the temperatures like in Georgia can be warmer than in the, in the Northeast, and which they most likely will be. But compared to average, the Northeast and Midwest will still be the most. So this is based off the averages. So this is pretty much it, guys. This gives you a general look at what to expect. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next episode.